The 1975 campers have clapped back after the internet was raging at them for queuing up outside the O2 up to three days before their gig. Well, now it's time for them to have their say. We're leading the 1975 night three line. Everyone is getting word that it's starting earlier and earlier, so it becomes three days in advance. Bridie and Hallie parts their tents right outside the O2 three days early to try to secure wristbands so they could get front row spots. They did say it was cold last night, colder than Glasgow apparently, but um, it's doable. And if you, if you really want this, like, I want more that I've seen, been seen the 1975 live since I was 15. They were the voice of our generation. Because they got there first, they made themselves line leaders on X. This basically means organising the 80 plus people that joined with their tents behind them. I hate the fact that that's a thing because obviously it's like, oh, who, who do you think you are leading this queue? But it's how to how we stay organised because otherwise it would be a mess. So, like, we need to have our phones charged. We need to be able to talk to anyone, make sure everyone's safe in the winter in their tents at night. So obviously it can be very dangerous camping especially just in public in London. And they're used to getting criticised by now. Campers have been accused of ruining gigs, being unsafe and just acting totally unnecessary. But for the moment those barriers open, to these fans, it's worth it. We've been getting a horrid comments, but you just learn to block it out because at the end of the day, they're not the ones that are trying to get this barricade that we want. If I'm going to do it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to camp out, I'm going to stick to it. Next time, will you be joining them?